morning. How are you? Right, it's the 26th of September. I've had meetings uh, first thing this morning uh, with my mate Bruce, and we've had that meeting in the Hurlingham Club in Fulham, which is a fantastic private members club. It's been there for hundreds of years, and it is beautiful. So quiet, so peaceful, and it's right in the centre of uh, West uh, London. Uh, so we've been discussing lots of brilliant opportunities we want to do together, uh, going over a number of stuff which I've already got in my pipeline, which he wants to get involved in. And um, yeah, it's just about putting A to B, B to C, C to D, and uh, see what happens. Because uh, these things do take time and a lot of effort. And um, all we can do is try. You've got to be in the game to win it. If you're not, you ain't never going to win it. So uh, what else has been happening? You know, what I want to find out off for you guys out there is what motivates you. You know, what makes you want to get out of bed in the morning and literally go get the future because out there is everyone's future. If you're staying behind your desk and you're just plotting around, you know, trying to make your business out of um, LinkedIn, you know, matter of people just sit behind their desks, crawling through LinkedIn, trying to find leads. It's not good. You gotta get out there, knock on the people's door, gonna meet these people because do you know what? If someone reaches out to me, I will always have a conversation with them on the phone. If they want advice, if they want to be lifted up and told, you know, this ain't the end of the world. You may be going through some really difficult times, but it's not as bad as you think. You know, there's a lot more people out there who have had a nightmare of a life and look at us we live in a great city or you may live in a great town somewhere what we got we got our health you know we can as long as we can you know have enough money to survive and have some food who cares you know no one's going to walk in here and uh put a gun to your head and say look it's not like that you know don't get stressed out go for it you know, I'm always motivated, you know, no matter how hard it may be, because business isn't easy. Um, you know, you fight fires every day being an entrepreneur, uh, being a business leader, you know, running a business, making sure your staff are happy. You know, they all come to you for advice and you've got to deal with it. You know, the buck stops with me here. You know, I can't go and ask someone for help. I would love to have a, um, a mentor to talk to, but I mentor myself, you know. I'm, I've got to discover, you know, the way forward on my own. Uh, so yeah, you know, I, I don't really need people to motivate me, but I do listen to sort of Gary V, and I do listen to Tony Robbins, and main, mainly I listen to them when I'm in the car, going home or coming to work. I put the podcast on and uh, I just literally just listen to what they get up to during the day and how they motivate other people. And, you know, I guess, you know, I do take something from it. Um, and, um, you know, I do suggest other people listen to their sort of podcasts or YouTube videos. But yeah, as I said, the buck stops with me. I've got to motivate myself and get out of bed in the morning and move forward and uh, think about all the great things I've got on the go. Um, I'm not really, I don't really give a damn about anyone else because if you're always worried about what other people are doing, you're not focused on your own business. You know, you need to really focus on yourself and don't give a damn about anyone else. It's like these podcasts or, or, or vlogs we do. You know, some people can't stand the fact that I'm talking to the camera and putting this out to the world. They can't stand it. But this gives me the edge over other people who are not doing it. You know, my competition in design and build construction, they're not doing this. You know, so people never really find out what they're all about. 
you know, I'm very honest and open. I tell everyone about the trials and tribulations, the ups and downs, the positives, like we've said many times. But, you know, you've got to be in it to win it. Put yourself out there. And it's, um, for me, really, as well, it's like a little bit like the sort of therapy, me talking to the camera, me passing on my sort of um, expertise and my 30 years of business. Um, so that's what sort of motivates me, myself, and my family, you know? And it's the fighting spirit. Never, ever, ever give up. You know, my, um, my poor old father, he died when he was 47 years old. I'm 48 years old now, so he died younger than me. And I was 10 years old. And uh, he run a business uh, in Portsmouth, and he run a aerial business. So, um, you know, before satellite dishes, it was like normal TV aerials. And he used to have a, a fleet of men um, putting up aerials in Portsmouth. And he was, a, he was a nice guy, a bit too nice for business, and his staff were ripping him off. And... Um, you know, I, I think he suffered big time. And I guess, guess what? In the in the, um, you know seventies and eighties, men were into health and fitness. You know, my old man, he used to love cigars and love cigarettes and love pipes, and he used to love a drink. And um, his health suffered. Um, so that me losing my father very young, it's made me very very tough, mentally tough. So nothing worries me. Um, and um, it's given me the fighting spirit because I would never let anyone beat me mentally or physically. You know, just, you know, I'm very, very strong. Very, very strong-minded. Um, and, um, yeah, really, that's, made, that's, that's been, been part of my journey, you know. So, death, divorce, you know, when the credit crunch came, you know, I wasn't a very nice person. And um, my missus uh, divorced me. So that was another thing. Tough. It, at the time, it was the end of the world. You know, my life was finished. You know, I love my family and I love my missus and I love my daughter. And I didn't really want to bring my daughter out as a single parent. But guess what? It toughened you up. And um, we keep going and going and going. And um, I got myself back on my feet. And I won my um, missus back. We got back together four years later. So we got divorced in 2010 and we got back together in 2014. So and it made us stronger. Um, but yeah. So if any of you guys out there have got anything you want to talk about, message me. You know, if you've got any ideas you want to run by me, business, let me know. If you want any personal advice about stuff, get in contact with me you know as I say I don't mind talking to people usually when I'm in the car from maybe 9 till 10 in the morning and when I'm on the way home from 7 to 8 I get on the phone most most days with different people and it's nice to talk to different people you never know I can help you you can help me uh, so listen I think that's enough for today uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel please like and share and uh, let's catch up again soon. I look forward to speaking to you. See ya. Bye.